It is time to fire up the garage AC. This is a two ton through the wall General Electric unit, I believe from 2002. As far as you AC twerps out there, stop badgering about AC startups. I don't set the time for them. Mother Nature does. When it's conducive to test them out, I test them out. Today happens to be a very nice, if not even warm day. So here it is, finally. And I don't want to hear from you for another year. Okay, so with that out of the way, this has been off and unplugged. You'll notice there's a wire coming out because we have a special treat this time. The Keto Tech temperature thing plugs in USB, so it's plugged in right there. I just shoved it in the vent there. We'll see how that does. I also have my infrared, so we'll, uh, we'll play with that also. We're going to go ahead and plug it in for the first time since last summer. It beeped. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay, good. It started. Hopefully the probe will stay in there. And I'm going to go and lower the temperature down as low as it goes. Hopefully it'll fire. It should. That's it. And we're going to leave it there. And it takes approximately three minutes before it fires up. It's currently reading 74.8 on that. So let's go outside and see if we have that rotten compressor sound when it starts up with a really rattly rattly. Out is about the best you're going to get. Uh, this grew like wildfire in the last week. Haven't gotten around to chopping this down yet, but I most certainly need to trim that real nice. I'm just going to sit and wait until this thing fires up. Feel warmth coming. Really rattly, rattly compressor when it first fires. Usually, after a minute, it quiets up and then sometimes goes and rattles again sometime later. So we'll give it another 15-20 seconds here. It doesn't seem to have rattled again. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I spoke a little too soon. All right, that seems to be quieting down. Let's go back in the garage and see how we're doing. I certainly feel cold air. The Keto Tech thing says 55.4.2.0, 0, and we'll keep going down. Infrared, 60, 61, 57. These infrareds aren't actually the best. This will give you a much better reading as far as the actual temperature than uh, the infrared. So I'm going to sit and let this thing cook for a little bit. And we'll see if it will come down any further. Temperature outside is oh maybe about 75 degrees or so. So we're not looking for 
anything spectacular here. Uh, we definitely have a 20 degree split between the outside and inside air. So it certainly is working enough to spec. The air coming out is quite cool indeed. So we'll let this cook for a bit. And here's what it sounds like after it's been on for a while. Of course, this is not promoting the best airflow. I know that. I will trim these edges or this edge. Outside, it's reading 107, 104, we'll say about 105 or so, depending on exactly where. I don't know if you can see that. So definitely pumping out nicely. Inside, it's reading 45.3, and I bet you that'll get down to around 40 if it's left on for long enough. And the infrared says 47, 48, 46, 45. Certainly in the ballpark. Certainly in the ballpark. 45.1 it says now. And I guess we can try the different fan speeds. It's on high now. That's low. Oh, look at that. The temperature went down. And it's climbing way down because we don't have the same airflow pushing all of that cold air into the room. Wow, look at that go down. That's a big difference. That went down two, three degrees in a matter of, I don't know, 20 seconds. So you get colder air on low, but not as much airflow and the compressor is going to work harder. Uh, all in all, it's really not the greatest idea to run it on low, if you can help it. Let's go to medium. There's medium. Forty-one five. And it's climbing back up, 41.7. We'll go back to high. Ha! Look at that go. That is quite interesting. That is quite interesting to see. Not as cold on a higher fan speed. Anyway, let's take that out so it doesn't get damaged. Okay, put it here, and we'll try this circular. This duct tape job I did there to help prevent the uh, slats in there from rattling uh, looks like it is worn out. It seems to work. Definitely seems to work. Let me put the probe back in and I'll shut the compressor. Just put the probe back in and you can see how it falls like that pretty quickly. So that's cool. And now we're going to do mode. That shut the compressor. See it climb back up. This little thing is pretty nifty for that. I must say that that's really kind of a cool thing. Anyways, this was the startup of the GE two-ton garage AC from 2002. Did fine as always. So let's shut it off. I'll set the mode back 
it's not going to fire the compressor because it was just on. And there we are. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.